Welcome to AG Chelsea TV. In today's video we'll start with, Fabrizio Romano says Chelsea's next done transfer deal will be announced today. Transfer expert Fabrizio Romano has said that the next done Chelsea transfer deal will be announced later today as the blue summer transfer business continues. The club have been looking to bring new players in as well as move players out and as well as permanent deals, they are looking at sorting loan moves too. It looks like one of Chelsea's foreign loan spots is going to be taken up with confirmation coming. Today, per Romano, he says that midfielder Andre Santos' loan move back to Strasbourg where he also spent last season on loan, will be confirmed and made official today. So we shall await that one being announced very soon now. James speaks on new role. Captain Rhys James has been speaking about his new inverted right-back role he has been playing in so far in pre-season, and that was even switched into more of a right centre back in the last game, James was happy to give some insight to a journalist from TalkSport into what he was going to be asked to do this season by his new manager Enzo Maresca, when I played right back before I kind of just got up and down. Now it's a bit different. Sometimes I am kind of in the middle and I'm not forward as much. It's a different role, but it's a good role. I feel like the role can change quite a bit. I don't think it's going to be one set role, which I think is good as well. It will change depending on opponents and stuff. Enzo Maresca shows ruthless approach, Maresca began work on July 1 after succeeding Mauricio Pochettino and is currently away on a pre-season tour of the USA with the Chelsea squad, he was able to handpick his backroom team after Chelsea prized him away from Leicester City on a five-year contract, paying compensation of around £10 million for the former Manchester City assistant. Former Blues goalkeeper Willy Caballero joined as his assistant, Danny Walker arrived as a coach and Michelda. Bernardin supports Ben Roberts as another addition to their goalkeeping department. He also brought across fitness coach Marcos Alvarez, analyst Javier Caballero and development coach Roberto Vitiello. But it seems not everyone has been on the same page in Maresca's first month in charge as the 44-year-old aims to imprint his beliefs and footballing blueprint on Chelsea. Maresca reportedly told journalists in America a story about how his staff suggested they should sit back against Celtic. That was because the Scottish champions, who would normally not be fancied as favourites to win, had already played three more friendlies than his Chelsea side. However, Maresca wasn't amused by his backroom team's suggestion that they should try to get a result, according to the Daily Mail. The Italian felt it was more important to practice how they wanted to play with the Premier League campaign less than three weeks away as he looks to impose his possession-based, positional play style on the team, but he was left red-faced after Chelsea were thrashed for to one by Celtic, with Christopher Nkunku's penalty only a mere consolation as the Blues were torn apart at the back, Maresca even boldly said he was 100% sure we are on the right path, after the game, pointing to Celtic's superior fitness. The West London club were also without several first-team players including Conor Gallagher, Enzo Fernandez, and Mark Cucurella for that game. Victor Osimhen to Chelsea to be done, Chelsea may turn towards a potential loan-to-buy deal to take Victor Osimhen to Stamford Bridge from Napoli this summer, amidst concerns as to the club's ability to pay the Nigerians' £100 million release clause. Sky Sports reporter Domesh Sheth has told GiveMesport, Osimhen, 25, is viewed as one of Europe's top strikers and has found the net 41 times in his last two seasons in Naples, leading to the player having a large release clause attached should any club wish to bring him aboard. Sheth has stated that it is unclear as to whether or not Chelsea will be able to afford the release clause, which Fabrizio Romano says is worth 130 million euros, 110 million pounds, that Napoli would hold out for if they wish to sign the Nigerian this summer. They could now consider a loan-to-buy deal instead in order to push funding the deal back to next season, with Napoli likely to be happy to have a permanent option secured in the future for their star striker, widely regarded as one of Europe's top players, let alone strikers, it comes as little surprise to see a high-release clause attached to Victor Osimhen, given Chelsea's recent track record under new owner Todd Burley with high-profile. High fee signings, it may come as a bigger surprise that the club may not be willing to fork out the nine-digit sum required to bypass club negotiations, and may now consider a potential loan-to-buy option in order to stagger any payment for the Nigeria and Napoli star to a later date. As the deal becomes more and more complicated, speaking exclusively to Give Me Sport, Sheth gave us the details on what he describes as a complicated deal. It's unclear whether Chelsea would be able to afford what Napoli would want. We know that his release clause is over £100 million. 
So the next best thing is to try and negotiate a loan with an obligation to buy, because Napoli will want to guarantee that at some point, Victor Osman's move to Chelsea, if it is to be to Chelsea, has got a permanent element to it. So that's where we are at the moment, there is so much work to do on this deal. I've been told it is such a complicated deal to do, but the fact that the two clubs are still in negotiation over it would imply that there is a deal to be done, whether they can do that deal is a completely different matter. Romelu Lukaku nearing Stamford Bridge exit, Chelsea flop Romelu Lukaku may be a critical part of any deal bringing Victor Osman to Chelsea, with Napoli keen on giving the Belgian a pathway out of his Stamford Bridge nightmare, Lukaku has reportedly settled on a pay cut to bring his torrid spell in West London to a permanent end, bringing his £12 million per year salary down to around £5.5 million. New Napoli sporting director Giovanni Manor is the force behind the potential transfer, and manager Antonio Conti is also keen to reunite it with Lukaku, having last managed him at Inter, where the duo won Serie A together in 2020-21. And that's the final content of today's video, like subscribe to support AG Chelsea TV.